Hello, can I help you? No, you can't. I hoped so much that it would work out. I thought that the therapy would take effect this time. But the doctor said that there are no miracles. I'm never going to have children. Lady, forgive me, for God's sakes. Perhaps it's none of my business, but miracles do happen, you know. No. Not with me. I have no chance of... No chance. You understand? Hang in there, please, okay? You're young and beautiful. Perhaps your life is only beginning. So what do I do now? You never know what surprise might come. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have... Oh, but it's all right. Do you need a ride? No, thank you. Sorry. Uh -uh. The Day You Stopped Waiting, Part 1. On behalf of the team, I would like to congratulate the birthday girl. Olya, we're happy that such a smart and charming girl works with us. <laughs> You're a real star. Keep shining and blossoming. Congratulations. Thank for you. you. Thank you very much. <laughs> I hope you'll please the management of our company with the new and creative ideas. Happy birthday. Thank you, sir. And now the present. Hooray! And the present is, it's, it's a lamp. <laughs> Here we go. Hooray! Hooray, thank you. Hooray! 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 Way to go. All right! All right. Hello, honey. What's the news? Sonia, do I hear you crying? No, Sonetchka, don't cry, please. I'm already on my way home. said that if this therapy failed to help me, then nothing would help me. There is no chance. It's not Hold destined. Hold on, honey. What does it mean, it's not destined? Who knows? Perhaps that doctor is mistaken, too. It's... It's so cruel. It's unfair. Do I deserve this? We, Do we deserve this? We don't deserve this. No one does. I thought that the therapy would, would have its effect this time. We can't do it. I'm sorry. Let's cancel the guests for Saturday. It's not the right time. Hmm? Let them come. We could use the distraction.
Yes? <laughs> yes, Lesha, I know that. You've left your shopping list in the hall. <laughs> All right, memorize it then. Good tomatoes, good eggplants, greenery, walnuts, and some fruit. Yes, I got it. You want pineapples for champagne? Sound good? No, better buy some strawberries. All right, bye. So long. Yeah. A few more? That's enough. Hmm. Yeah, all right. This is from me to you. <laughs> okay, thanks. How much do I owe you? Would you like some strawberries? They're sweet? Mm hmm You know your colleagues usually say sweet as a kiss. <laughs> <laughs> so do you want some? Strawberries or some kisses? <laughs> it's difficult to say no to such a pretty girl. I'll take a couple of boxes. Not this one. Uh, the, that one. Yeah, that one. That one, that one too, yeah. Yeah, and those two. Mm -hmm. Yeah, those two. Mm -hmm. Strawberries, yeah. The, the sweet strawberries. Yeah, 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 weigh them, weigh them for me. Did, did, did you hear me? Hmm. Thank you. All right, let's have some champagne. Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. Everything is delicious. Thank you. Oh, the hot oh, meal is coming now. It's beautiful. This is wonderful. Uh -huh. It seems as if it all happened yesterday. The registry office, Sonia in her white veil. Hush, the drunken best well, man. Well, <clears throat> I tried hard because I was happy for my friends. Then you hit on the registry officer. Good that she <laughs> missed it on you. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> well, your lovely stories are enough for me. <laughs> oh, damn, it's been 16 years. And I don't even remember you without one another. Anya and I have seven years to catch up to you. Well, but you keep yourself busy in the process. Oh, that's right, Lesha. I'm like a baby producing machine for him. Oh, come on, why are you complaining, Anya? You'll recover after Danya, and we'll try it once again. I want a daughter so much. Pasha, we're not here to discuss your desires. Our friends have been together for 16 years, by the way. May God help you live 10 times longer. <laughs> you think we'll make it? Just keep on trying. You've lived in perfect harmony for so many years. Here's to you guys. Thanks so Thank much. you. Oh, come on, kiss now. <laughs> <laughs> come on, come on, kiss now. Kiss, kiss now. now. Kiss now. Kiss now. now. Look at them, they're <laughs> cheating, huh? It was better at the wedding. Here's to you. <laughs> it's good that you've weaned Danya. At least I can feed a baby. It isn't over till it's over. You'll be nursing your own soon enough. No, it won't happen now. Why are your thoughts so gloomy today? You have to keep trying. But there's no use trying if it's not destined. You've already given birth to three children. Oh, frankly speaking, it's not a house, it's a bona fide home. And it feels like that I have not three, but four children including Pasha, and he wants a girl. Can you imagine? <laughs> You're happy. Well, yeah, I'm happy. That's all right, you'll be happy soon too. That's for sure, mm -hmm. I can promise you that. <laughs> for now, you'll be feeding your godson. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello? Hello. Well, how was your day then? I'm tired as always. You don't look tired. What do you mean? 
I saw how tired you were. Laughing with men all day, enjoying yourself. What did you do with them? With whom? I saw everything. I'd go to the market every single day to watch you work. You'd better find work instead. You keep drinking and walking around the city all day. What an ungrateful bitch you are. I took you with your child, and you, you keep wagging your tail. Another one would be happy, and your daughter is the same. Keep away from Susha. You're nobody to her. Remember, Galia, if I see you with someone again, you'll regret it. You know me. You're threatening me? You eat and drink at my expense? Are you for real? Ugh. Come on, who's the faster? <laughs> hey, you want some beer? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what are you doing? Why are you laughing? Huh? <laughs> Come on. Yeah, yeah we're having fun. <laughs> oh, are you an idiot or what? Let's, Let's get, get out, out of here. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Let's go. Come on, run. <laughs> Susha, why are you stopping? What are you doing? Come on, come on! Come on, come what on! What are you doing? Let's go, let's come go! On, let's go! Come on, let's go! <laughs> it was a nice party, right? These 16 years passed like a single day. <laughs> I'll never forgive you. What? For having the abortion. I should have had that baby. Sonia, don't start, please. The only thing I have left is watching someone else's children grow. Sonia, are you starting again? You remember how we lived after the university? We were sleeping on folding beds in our friends' flats. Did you want our baby to have that life? We would have made it. But you hesitated and I followed, and now we have everything but no baby. I'm so sick of listening to your rebukes. A woman should be beat. This is rule one. She becomes meek at once. And then everything's fine. Hey, what are you doing? Get out, and never set your foot in here again. Dahlia, don't be stupid. Don't make me angry. I can't control myself. Get out of here, or I'm calling the police. You bitch. You're such a creep. You'll regret it, you'll regret it, but it'll be too late.
Sonia, please forgive me. Let's make peace. Sonia, look at me, please. Sonia, honey. So Sonia. This is for you. Where did you get it? It's a gift. A gift? Take it back to where it was. I see Petya is showing his love again. Wash your hands and let's eat. Eat with your boyfriend. I've kicked him out. Oh, that's great. At least the two of us can live normally. I'm sick of your men. Where do you even find them? They're all freaks. I see you're happy that nothing's going well for me. You better watch yourself. When did you go to school? Now you remember. You decided to switch from Petia to me? You didn't care about me before. How are you talking to your mother, huh? Take a look at yourself. Your head is a mess, your face is all pierced, and you've got those tattoos. Aren't you ashamed? No, I'm not. I live my life as I want. You bring home men and I don't say anything. Yes, I'm trying to give our family some type of support. There's your support, under your eye. I thought I'd give birth to a girl and she would help me. But you're like a stranger. You don't respect your mother. I didn't ask to be born. Take it. I want a baby very much, but I can't do it in a natural way. Well, there are other ways, undoubtedly. But you didn't want to hear about those ways, and they helped lots of women. Are you talking about IVF? IVF and surrogate maternity. We can't afford surrogate maternity. The prices are comparable to the cost of an apartment. Yes, this is an expensive pleasure, and there's a moral aspect. Let's try IVF, then. It's not a cheap way either, but many people can manage to afford it. Tell me, can we get on the list for a discount? You can do it, but you're going to have to wait for a long time. The Ministry of Health gives some allowances, but there are only a few. Our waiting list has 200 people. Wouldn't it be easier for you to pay for IVF? No, oh, but it's very expensive. All right, I can put you on the list. But I have to warn you, expecting the allowance can take years. Are you ready to wait? I will wait. But you should consider the paid IVF. If you find money, we can start preparing for the procedure in a few days. I'm not ready to make that decision on my own. I need to consult my husband. All right. Mm. Mm. Lady, what are you doing? Mm. What? Uh, let me help you. It's not that heavy. Give it to me, or you will strain yourself. I'm quite used to it. Let go and have a rest. I got this. <sighs> 
And this here. Well, all right. Thank you. Not at all. The thing is, I work as a driver in the next pavilion. Now, I'm always here every day. You can call me. What should I call you? <laughs> I'm Misha. Uh -huh. I'm Galia. Nice to meet Pleased you. Pleased to meet you. Mm -hmm. Galia. So, Galia, why don't we go to a cafe tonight? Hmm? No, I can't go tonight. Why not? Well... <clears throat> Husband? Seven kids in the house? I don't have a husband. It's just... Uh... Oh, you're worried about that. It's not noticeable. Well, what do you say? Will you come? Well, uh, well... I really like you, Galia. I've been watching you. You're a nice girl. <laughs> There's no need to be afraid. I'm not one of those. No, I'm not worried. <laughs> well, what about the cafe? We could do that. See you in the evening, Galia. See you in the evening, Misha. I'm officially married, but my wife left me for her classmate. <laughs> mm -hmm. She found him on the internet and remembered her first love. Well, and it all started. Mm -hmm. I thought she'd have some fun and come back, but they've been living together for a year. We didn't get divorced because of the apartment. Mm -hmm. And do you have children? I do. I've got a son, Dima. He's 12, and the reason we didn't split the apartment he lives with his mother, and I live alone. Uh, I'm single, too. But I have a daughter, Susha. She's 14. Mm -hmm. I have never been married. I tried to live with a man. It was bad. We tried for two years. He didn't work and drank a lot. I kicked him out. It's better to be alone. Mm. It must be hard without a man. It's not easier with a man. It depends on the man. Well, that's <laughs> right. That's true. You know, Galia, I'm not a prince and I'm not that good with words, but I've liked you for a long time. Perhaps we could live together, hmm? I'm not gonna hurt you or your daughter. I like work, I don't drink, and I don't fight. Well, what do you say? Let's drink. Let's drink. Hmm. Here you go, Lesha. I hope it'll be enough. Thank you, Pasha. You've helped us a lot. Of course, it's a holy cause, huh? Aren't we undermining your family budget? You have three kids. <laughs> no, you're not. That's our untouchable strategic reserve. You'll pay me back. Thank you, Pasha. <laughs> I'm so glad that you found a way. Maybe you'll have yourself twins, huh? or even <laughs> triplets, huh? Why not? It would be great, and it would be easier for Sonia. I'm worried, you know? Come on, don't be afraid. It's only scary at first. No, of course, there will be chaos, noise, and shouting. You really need to get ready for that stuff. You get used to it. Believe me, Lesha, it's such happiness to come home to your family. Pasha, between ourselves, I could do without children. Mm. We're used to it. I'm doing it for Sonia. You look so solemn today. You're not telling me why. The thing is that I've found the money to fulfill your desires. As soon as tomorrow, we can go to the clinic and start preparing for IVF. Lesha, oh. well, that was so fast. You're a real magician. How can I refuse the woman I love? Are you happy? 
very much. I promised I'd do it. <laughs> Lesha, listen. Mm -hmm. Look, what if we spend the money and nothing comes out of this? We'll have such a debt. Why would nothing come of this? It'll work out. It works for other people. Don't worry about money. Let it be my problem. Well, why? I'll take some extra work, too. Some translations. I'm not going to leave you alone with such debt. Sonia, your main task now is to be calm and relaxed. And follow the doctor's orders. I'll earn the money we need. Let's drink to you know what. Here's to our future baby. Or babies, perhaps. <laughs> Me, doctor, am I all right? Don't worry, your samples are good. You've got good chances. <sighs> Thank God, you're taking a lot of notes. I'm writing down what you need to take to prepare your body for IVF. We're going to start with hormone therapy. Just don't skip it. <clears throat> it's very important. The results of the procedure depends on you following instructions. Of course. Of course, Svetlana Vladimirovna. <laughs> Lesha, I've got the results. They've told us to... to start preparing. Thank you for finding the money. I kiss you back. I love you too. Hello. 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 Is the boss in a good mood? The boss is not in a very good mood. You know what I'm saying, Sofia Igorevna? I don't remember your labor contract saying that you can come to work um, at noon. I'm sorry, Sergei Janadovich. I was at a clinic. I couldn't cancel. It was a matter of life and death. So solve your matters of life and death in your free time. Or hand in your resignation if you have health issues. I'm not going to pay you for your illness. Don't be late again. I didn't say I was ill. Don't take him seriously. He went completely mad recently. I'm in such a good mood that he failed to spot it. Well, all right. Okay. I think we'll be walking with strollers together soon. <laughs> no doubt. I hope you give birth to Danya's girlfriend. Mm -hmm. I just couldn't watch you suffer so. Stop! Where are you going? Screw you! <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Hands off! Get lost! Yeah. Come on! <laughs> what are you doing, barbarians? Do you have any conscience? <laughs> no, screw you! Aren't you ashamed? You're a young girl. Have you heard this woman rock? <laughs> That's Susan's terrible. A what do your parents think? Whatever they want to. Sonia, don't mess with them. <laughs> Look what they're doing. Look, I'm going to call police. Go ahead and call yeah. them. <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, Susha, come on, run. <laughs> Stop it now. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Stop, I said. Come on. Run. Yeah. Stop it. No. Hey, keep Stop running. It. You come nasty on. girl. Go. I'm going to catch you. Do you hear me? Susha, you should join the skills competition. Come on, keep running! Stop it, I said! You're such a nasty girl! Oh, dear! Oh, Lord! Stop now, you! Come here! Come here! Come here, I said! Give me the bag! Give me the bag! Give it to me right now! You're a stray cat! Keep running, almost here. there! We're up here! We're almost there! Hey, we'll help you, come here on! Here you go! You got it! <laughs> 
Come on, give us your hand. Okay, right, yeah, that's it. Yeah, nice. Nice job. You fools. Yeah, we sure showed you, didn't we? All right, come on, bye. Come on. All right, let's go. That stupid girl stole my wallet. Can you imagine? Was there a lot of money? No, not much. But my heel broke. Oh, you should tell the police about her. What police? Where would they find them? There's no use. Yeah, kids are really terrible these days. God forbid you have that kind of daughter. It's better to have no daughter. <sighs> Lesha, when we have a baby, let's raise it to become a decent person, you know? Our baby will be decent. We'll take care of it. Don't think about that girl. Just let her parents worry about her. Yeah, I'd like to see her parents. I'd tell them everything. I wonder what keeps them so busy. The girl is completely lost. I thought I'd kill her there. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe they're alcoholics. Do you think that we're going to have a boy or a girl? A boy, I think. Timothy. And I want a girl, Masha. Uh-huh. <laughs> Perhaps we'll have twins. No. <laughs> it would be great. Sonia, I missed you so much. Slow down, Vlad. We'll do it tomorrow. Are y'all tripping? I'm heading out. Bye. 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 See ya. Bye. Bye. Bye, Susha. Bye. See you, Susha. Bye bye. Well, I'll go too then. No, Susha, stay here. My mother's on my case about coming home. Susha, where are you going? What's there to do? We'll find something. <laughs> It must be hard to travel, to work this far. Not really. I go by subway and the train, and then four shuttle stops. I'm used to it. Hmm. Why don't you sell your house? Buy something closer. This isn't our house. We rent it. We have a house in the Belgorod region. That's where I'm from. Oh, uh, I understand. All right, leave me. Well, come in. Come in, come in. This is delicious. Mmm. A nice home-cooked meal. Stay with us, and you'll always dine like this. Mm. Well, why not? Are you serious? We already know each other. You don't drink. You have not had a glass of champagne this whole evening. <laughs> I'm sorry, but this is really important to me. And your eyes are kind. I can see that you're a good person. <laughs> I like that kind of man. <laughs> you know what? If the two of us together work out, I'll divorce my wife and we'll split our apartment. You can sell your flat in Belgorod. <laughs> we'll unite our forces. Buy something and start living together. Pigs could fly with wings. I don't like looking too far ahead. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Do you want to dance?
What happened? A flood? A fire? What is this? Susha, baby. Don't go over there. What? It's it's your mom, hun. What about her? She's dead, sweetie. Her ex-boyfriend killed her. Mom! Susha. Mom! And you can't go there now. You can't. Let's go, all right? Let's go to my house. Let's go, dear. Come on, come on. You'll you'll sleep at my house. You can't go there now. Let's go. All right. All right, calm down. Let's go. Let's go, my dear. Dasha, can you help me out? Sure, tell me. I need to be in the clinic in the morning. I need to send the manuscript to typography at 9 a.m. I've prepared everything. Can you give this to the courier? Of course I can do that. Give me your folder. Thank you. You'll help me a lot. You're welcome. All right, bye. Goodbye. How are you feeling, honey? Let's go outside. It'll Since the hormone you. therapy has been Let's successful, go. we can arrange the IVF procedure in two weeks. Really? So quickly? Yes. Are you completely prepared? Doctor, what are the prospects? Well, no one can guarantee success, but I can assure you that your case is absolutely standard. We'll be hoping for a good result. You'll come back three days before the procedure, and we'll discuss the details. Goodbye for now. Thank you very much. All the best. Lesha, what if it doesn't work? Everything will be fine. Let's go and celebrate. I need to go to work. Oh, come on. Half an hour won't mean anything. We're celebrating having a baby. Oh, our most hardworking employee has finally decided to show up for work today. So tell me, why do you even work here? Good morning, Sergei Janadovich. I'm sorry to be late. I prepared everything for the manuscript, and it was sent to the topography this morning by my request. I don't know whom you asked, but the manuscript wasn't sent to topography. We went into Hawk because of this. Are you serious? I'm sorry, I hoped for my colleague's help. Sergei Janadovich, I'm in a difficult situation. All right, listen carefully. I remind you that illness, divorces, depression, difficult situations and other things are none of my business. If they mean more to you than work, you're free to resign and occupy yourself with any of these issues that are not work-related and I'm not going to pay you for it. I understand. Dasha, I asked you for this. I forgot. I've got lots of my own work. Why do I have to answer for you? I didn't expect you'd let me down. I don't have to answer for your skipped work. Lesha, Dasha was supposed to help me, but she let me down instead. The boss raised a stink and hinted that I should resign. Not even hinted. He said it to me directly. Why are you worried? This is a sign. Resign. Don't even think. What would I do without work? We have so much debt. Sonia, what work? You've got a complex operation ahead. You need to think about yourself, not to waste your nerves on some idiots. That's enough. You're going to sit at home and prepare for the baby's birth. Yes, thank you, Lesha. You're the best. Bye now. Bye, hon. <laughs> oh, God. This is not a cake. It's truly a work of art. Just look at it. Sonia, you've always been an amazing mistress, but this is just fantastic. It took me five hours to cook it. I hope that it's worth it. What? And that what? it tastes as good as it looks. Sonia, you're a heroic woman. Thanks. Can we taste it? I'll serve it out. Thank you. So, I'm a housewife without a job now. Mm -hmm. And I study cuisines around the world. It's so interesting <sighs> to explore.
Yeah, but if you keep cooking such amounts of food, by the time the baby's born, we'll be severely obese. <laughs> Lesha, I promise you, I'll study diet meals, specifically for your health. <laughs> all right, good. <laughs> We're just so happy for you. We've been just as worried as you during all these years. Sonia, I hope everything goes great and a wonderful baby will be born soon, or even two babies. Mm -hmm. Or even three or four <laughs> babies. Oh. <laughs> it doesn't matter. We'll love all our children. <laughs> oh, we weren't expecting anyone. Perhaps it's a stork with a surprise, hmm? And the nib. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder who it could be. Yes, hello? Good evening. Could you tell me if Alexei Chernovsky lives here? Yes, hold on a second. Lesha, mm -hmm. it's for you. Mm -hmm. Good afternoon. And so are you Alexei Chernovsky? Yes, who are you? I work for Children's Services. Here's my ID. Mm-hmm. I came over here today to talk to you about your daughter. I need to inform you that your name and date of birth were in the death note of a woman who was killed in a violent domestic crime. The daughter became an orphan after the woman's death. The girl is in an orphanage, but if the relatives won't take her, she's going to stay there. Do you understand? I understand, but who is this woman and her daughter? Maybe it's a mistake. Uh, excuse me, could you do this quicker? We have some guests and we don't want to keep them waiting. I understand. Here's what happened. The woman who was murdered, Galina Danilenko, has a daughter named Susha. After the woman's death, a letter was found. The letter says that you are Susha's father, Alexei Chernovsky. That is you, right? This must be a mistake. Hold on, what was her name again? Her name is Galina Danilenko. Uh, what makes you think that I'm the father of the daughter? The mother wrote about it to her daughter before her death. Unfortunately, I am afraid we have no other grounds to address you besides this letter. It's all we have. Please tell me, if you can, did you know her? But listen, no. <laughs> People write a lot of things in letters. This is not good proof, right? No, Lesha, you need to answer. Did you know this, Galina? Sonia, hold on. Let's deal with the letter first. By the way, where is it? It's at the police station. We haven't even shown it to Susha. We decided to make sure that the letter tells the truth about you. Judging by your reaction, I'd say that you knew the victim. Lesha, did you know her? What, what does it matter if I... If I knew someone in the past. All right, let's talk later. Can you tell me how to find you? I'll come to you and we'll deal with this issue. I have nothing to do with that girl, okay? Here's my business card. Oh, thank you. Come any day that's convenient. Mm -hmm. And sorry for bothering you. All the best to you. Lesha, what was that? I don't know, we'll need to deal with it. Who's that Galena? Why were you hiding it? Hey guys, what's going on? Who is that lady? It turns out Lesha has a daughter. On the side, as a secret. Sonia. Sonia, open up please, Sonia. Let's talk about this. Sonia, at that time we were having problems. We argued a lot. I used to leave early and come home late and hear your rebukes. Once I went to buy some fruits to cheer you up. And she was behind the table. She was joking and smiling and I needed it so badly back then. I got acquainted with her. And once I stayed for the night. There was no love, Sonia. It was just to relax. You've always been the only one I need. It was just a stupid screw up. It was a stupid thing to have done. You had a child with the screw up. I can't forgive you. Sonia, this is not my daughter. Sonia, what can I do now? 
Do you want me to take a test? Perhaps this will assure you. What if I had an affair? Everyone does it. Sonia, can't you... can't you just forget about it? It was so long ago. Anya, I'll make the bed. No. You know, I always thought he was a perfect man. Sonia, you know there are no perfect men. I'm going to be honest with you. Lesha is a good husband, and he'll make a good father. To whom? You mean to this girl? She's 14 years old. That is, he met that woman 15 years ago. At that time, I was dying after my abortion. Hush. I'm sorry. And he made me do it. Do you understand the extent of his meanness? Oh, Sonia. Come on, it was 15 years ago. You were totally different people back then. You had problems. But even if he dated that woman... So what if that girl is his daughter? Stop protecting him. He deprived me of the ability to have children, and yet he made a baby on the side. Hello. How are you? This is Alexei Chernavsky. You came to see me about the girl, Susha Danilenko, right? I'd like to take a paternity test as soon as possible. What do I need for that? Mm hmm. Is it done? Yes, you're free to go. Oh, thank you. You can come and get the result next week. I know what the result will be. All the best. Susha, hello. Sit down, have a seat. Hello. I've got news for you. After your mother's death, we found a letter. We didn't tell you straight away. We had to verify some information. Here you go. Read it. What, Father? I don't know this name. I've never heard it before. I've met this man in person. We're not absolutely certain, but it's highly possible that he is your father. It is unlikely that your mother lied to you. Moreover, it's fairly easy to verify these things. What do you want from me? I really think that you need to meet him. He might want to participate in your life somehow. Why would he? I don't need him. I didn't know him before, and I don't want to now. Listen to me. If we are able to prove that he's your biological father, he may want to adopt you for real. What for? It's better to live with a family than in an orphanage. He's a decent man, and his wife is very pleasant. You're gonna like them. Screw them! Can I keep the letter? Yes, of course. But you should at least meet him. Aren't you even curious? No, I'm not curious. Sonia, I don't feel right without you. 
I can't sleep and I can't work. Please come back home. We can try to work things out. After what's happened, I can't be with you anymore. I've said I'm guilty. I've asked for forgiveness a thousand times, yet you won't forgive me? I can't. Sonia, please, Sonia. We're... We're all people and do stupid things. Do we have to destroy everything because of this? We're a family, Sonia, and we love each other. We're going to have a baby soon. Are you going to deprive us of all this? Believe me, you're not even going to think about this when the baby is born. We'll all be laughing about it together. Well, you know what I mean. Please think about it. I already have. This is goodbye. Sonia. Oh, Sonia, Sonia. What do I do, Anya? Sonia. Don't rush things now. Everything will pass. And you'll forget it. Just have some patience. I know it's hard, but you have to forgive him. Go back to him eventually. You need your family. Find it in your heart to forgive him. <laughs> and sign here, please, to certify that you've taken the results. Here you go. I can't understand it. Can you explain it to me? Of course. The probability of 99.9% .9 most likely means that you are the biological father of this child. Congratulations.
Sonia, I'm home. Thank you very much once again. I'm so sorry for bothering you both. We're so dear to each other. How's the situation? No, well, how's the situation? It's a total mess. There are bottles, dirt. Ooh, this is terrible. Leshen never allowed this to... <sighs> to be his life. I told you he was suffering. Be gentle with him, all right? Leave your problems in the past. Yes, I'll try to do that. I have to recover life somehow. I knew you were a wise woman. <sighs> thank you. Anya, thank you once again. So long. Oh, oh, oh. dinner quickly. Susha's finishing her dinner. Will you wait? Yes, of course. Thank you. You wanted to see me? I'm Senya Danilenko. Hello there. Hello. Who are you? Me? I'm, I'm your father. Well, what do you want from me? Actually, I'm not sure what I want, but I wanted to meet you. You've met me now. Goodbye. Susha, hold on, please. Susha, let's have a talk. Well? Huh. I never thought I'd be meeting my own child like this. I'm not a child. Well, I mean, you are my own child, although it's all very strange. I'm not your child. You're no one to me. And even if you're my father, I don't care about you. And cut this crap with babies and daughters. 
It makes me sick. All right, I'll cut it out. You look so much like your mother. I don't look like you. I understand that you're getting tough with me because I'm a complete stranger to you. That I haven't been a part of your life. But I won't inflict my company. It would be stupid. You bet. You had fun with my mother and sneaked away. You show up and I'm supposed to love you? I'm not asking you to love me. I don't deserve it. Susha, I really didn't know that your mother was pregnant. So, what if you knew? You'd have come and married her? Well, no, of course not. I was married. At the time, and still am. And I love my wife. Go to your wife, then. And keep away from me. Susha, hold on a sec, please. Hold on, please. I want to help you. Perhaps you need something, money or... Some things I don't... Susha, do you have any plans? Orphanage is my plan, like any orphan, get it? Well, I... Tell me, do you like it here at least? Are they decent? It's okay. I've been dreaming of it, honestly, my whole entire life. All right, I get it, I get it. Let's do it the following way. I'll give you my mobile phone number. Call me if you need anything, anything at all, Susha. And here's some, here's some cash for you. Take it if you need it. You can eat your cash. Do you think I'm going to call you? I've lived without you before, and I will now. And you'll be happier if I die. Why are you saying that? I was just trying to establish a contact. Don't bother, Daddy. I'm gone. You don't have a daughter, and you can forget that you even came here. Consider me dead as well. felt like a real bastard Pasha. She was sitting there, so young and so unhappy. And I saw her for the first time. I hoped at least we could connect. And then she walked away. I nearly cried with pity. Lesha, I don't even know what to say. There's no point in giving advice in this case. You know, I can't imagine it even in a bad dream that any of my boys would live in an orphanage. I don't know what to do. That she's a strange person, a totally strange person. She's little and bitter. She looks at me like a wolf. What did you want? To fall upon your neck straight away? Gosha, stand in the goal. Sereza, you're kicking. You understand? I'm afraid to take her home, but I don't want to leave her either. Yeah, you're screwed. Have you talked to Sonia yet? Yes, there's no use. She's tough. Our life is coming unraveled. Sonia wants a divorce, and my daughter's an orphan. I don't know how to fix this. I don't know. But if I were you, I would try to save everything as much as I can. Well, I should get Sonia back first. Yes, of course. But I also cannot leave Susha there, you know? Don't leave her there. I think Sonia will support you, regardless of your decision. Sonia, my dear. I had no idea, and Pasha didn't tell me. Did you decide to surprise me? Mm -hmm. Do I smell a pear pie? 
It's my favorite. I missed you so much. I won't let you go again. Let's try to forget all of this. I can't live without you. I'm so guilty. I've hurt you so much. Thanks for finding the strength to forgive me. It'll all work out. Why aren't you eating? I have to tell you something. I have to say it now. In short, I... I took a test. And that girl, Susha... She's my daughter. I really hope that you will understand and accept this fact. I know there's no way to ignore it. Unfortunately, Sonia, it doesn't actually change anything. Anyway, I'm going to help this girl, but we're strangers and there's nothing we have in common. You and our future child matter the most to me, and I would have done things differently if I could have. It would have taken measures. I'm, I'm really sorry. What measures? Make her have an abortion like you did to me back then? Sonia, I need to talk to you. No, don't start with me. I'm sick of listening to your... your stories about your cheating. We're having IVF in three days, and I need to prepare for that. I really don't want to hear about your daughter now. Listen to me, please. This concerns you, too. How does it concern me? Oh, Sonia. I visited Susha. I actually met her. And then I spent all night thinking. She needs a home. She needs a family to live with. I can't just leave her there in the orphanage. As a decent man, I'm bound to take her. Where to? To our house, you mean? Yes, to our house. And as a woman, you have to understand me. Why so? She's not a toddler. She's a teenager. She's a grown person. Do you know what they're like? I've met one recently. A really bad girl. A reckless thief. And the worst part is you can't fix her. You have to understand me. Why would I want her in my house if I'm trying to have my own? And there's another thing. I don't think we can afford the IVF with this situation. What? Well... Susha needs clothes, proper care, and also a good school. Since I'm the only one working now, we won't be able to afford IVF. But Lesha, you insisted that I should resign. Yes, I did. But I wasn't planning on taking Susha. I planned another life for us, but the circumstances have changed. She's an orphan. She has no one. I can't live recklessly knowing that my own daughter is at an orphanage. I feel so guilty about her. And what about me? Well, but you are a grown woman. 
you have to understand, we can't afford IVF right now. You've betrayed me, Lesha. Once again. And I trusted you. Don't you want to live? Are you all right? Are you sure? Get in the car. Come on, get in the car, please. Take care. Watch your head. Hold on! Here you go. I don't drink. Drink it, please. I don't drink either. This is a vitamin tea with briar and lemon. I make it all from scratch. Thank you, sir. I recognized you. Have we met? No. Strictly speaking, we ran into each other near the clinic once, and you were... You were very upset on that day. I remember. Thank you for listening to me. Well, I can listen. What happened to you this time? What? This time? Do you think something happened? You know, happy people don't jump under cars like that. Right. It wouldn't be right to call me happy. Although I thought it was possible at some point. Well, since we just met again, let's get acquainted. My name is Constantine. Call me Kostya. Sonia. All right, what happened? It's a very long story. That's all right, I have time. Everything is wrong, and I... I don't know how to go on. Mm-hmm. Everything was very bad the previous time. I take it has become even worse? My husband... and I attempted to have a baby. I used therapy, but nothing helped. We decided to try IVF. Mm -hmm. We found the money. It was to begin in three days. So what happened? My husband had betrayed me. It turned out that he had a daughter on the side. And he's spending that money on her to take her to our house. IVF was my last hope. And his sense of guilt woke up suddenly. He has a little girl in the orphanage. He doesn't care about me. It's a complicated story. Because on the one hand, taking a child from an orphanage is a decent act. But I understand you. Right. I just wanted to be happy. I wanted to have a baby. Yeah. I really want to help you very much. But how? I wasn't asking. I just told you. I got it. I got it. I understand. I'm not letting you... I am not letting you out in this condition. And so, tell me the address where I can take you.
Hello, Susha. You sit. Let's go home. Come on. What if I don't like your home? You'll have a look yourself. And think it over. If you don't like it, you'll come back. I've only registered custody. And I will do everything to help you like it. I hope we'll become a family. And then perhaps we could think about adoption. All right. But I don't want to go straight home. Where should we stop? Ah, to the cinema, to a cafe, right? Both cinema and cafe. But first, let's go shopping. You're kind to my father. Well, yes. So fulfill your parental duties. Let's go already. Where are you going, Sonia? I'm leaving you, Lesha. I should have done it long ago. Sonia, I believed I'm in some you kind of miracle, go. but they don't Change have it. Change your mind, come on. I won't be able to live without you. You've got another family now. This is her, my daughter, by the way. Oh God, it's your daughter. Well, yes. Oh God, it's your wife. Can you ask your daughter to be more polite? Well. I think she's just lost. She's lost? It's nonsense. Oh, God, this is a nightmare. I don't understand. Have you met before? Yes, she's the one who stole my wallet. How? Is that the truth? Yes, it is. It's just impossible. I can't believe this. Don't you like me? Tell me, what do you think? Hold on, girls, wait. Sonia, you're wise. Don't respond like this, please. She's still a child. A child? Do you know how this child swears? Nope, stop. Let's forget about the past, okay? Or try to become a family. Perhaps you'll find a way to be friends. 
No, I'm not going to forget anything. And I won't be friends with her. I'm leaving you, Lesha. Sonia. Then go, then. We'll have more space. Susha. What? What did you say? Sonia. Who is going to leave? Me? I'm not going anywhere. This is my flat. Do you understand what I'm saying? Lesha, in the near future, you're going to have to find a place to live with your dear daughter. Let's go. Let's go home, Susha. I'm heating soup and cutlets. Let's have a dinner together. All right, I'm keeping the bedroom. Your daughter sleeps here in the living room, and you get the folding bed. But Sonia... Sonia what? We're roommates now. What did you think when you were planning all this? Sonia, hold on. Let's not do this now. I understand you need time to get used to it, to learn to live together somehow. I don't need this. I'm not going to live with you. Sonia. Are you finished? Susha, don't do that. It's difficult for her. She was making her own plans and then a teenage girl appeared. I didn't ask to be taken. Bring me back if you don't like me. Susha, this is not what I mean. We need to try to behave like grown-ups. Do you understand? Yes, we'll have to change. And don't be rude to Sonia, please. She doesn't deserve it. I should have stayed in the orphanage. No one gives orders there. And there are no dodgy fathers with crazy wives. Susha, no, 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 Susha, come on. Can I come in? Yes. Sonia, I want to talk to you, like a calm and kind person. I know how you can love and forgive. Everything ends at some point. Sonia, forgive me. Forgive me once again. Please, you have to understand. This girl and I are complete strangers, but she still is my daughter. This is my sin and I have to bear it, but I can't stand to lose you. You've already lost me. I don't believe you. If there is no trust, there is no love. But this is unfair. Sonia, please give me one more chance. Please accept this girl. Just try. Let me do something good for her. We'll definitely do IVF, but later. Please give it a chance. Too late. I can't live like this. And I don't want to because she is your child, not mine. I respect your decision, I do. Fulfill your duty and raise the girl. But don't count on me. Sonia, you're literally killing me. Sonia, please don't leave me. I won't be able to live without you. My life is falling apart, but I'm making it somehow. I'm sure you'll make it too. I hope you and your daughter will be okay. When is breakfast served? I'm hungry. We have no servants here. You're a grown-up. Cook something if you're hungry.
Actually, you pour some oil first. <gasps> what are you doing? Don't scream at me. You're no one to me. Do you understand? And you're no one to me. Susha, are you all right? Nothing is all right. Your daughter has made a mess out of my kitchen. Please talk to your daughter about how you're going to fix this. All right, I'll talk to her. Don't panic. You'll talk to her? This issue needs to be solved radically. Let's discuss it at home tonight. I can't talk right now. Hmm. Problems again? Again and again. It will never end. Don't worry, it will end someday. Look happier at life. I'm trying, but it isn't working. <laughs> Catch a candy. At least you'll sweeten your life a bit. Thank you. I'll sweeten it. This is my house. I bought it with my own money, and therefore I'm asking you to be respectful in my own house. If I ask for silence, there must be silence. I'm working. Do you understand me? What if I don't? If you don't understand, I'll have to take measures. I'm serious. Either you live normally... Or what? You'll kick me out? He won't let you. My father wants me here. This is my house too, right? Get lost. Give me my wallet. What wallet? The one you stole from me. I don't remember. Maybe you imagined it. You're such a little... Try looking at yourself.
aren't you going home? There's a lot of work. I won't leave until it's all done. What if you'll have to stay till morning? I'll do it then. I have to support you somehow. All right, best worker. Do you want me to get you some coffee? I do. Hold on a minute. Anything ready? There's nothing to eat. I'll call you as soon as it's ready. My dad wasn't lucky with my mother. She was a bad mistress. like to come in? The fridge is empty, but I can offer you some coffee. Well, we had coffee earlier. As you wish. Thanks for giving me a ride. See you tomorrow. What happened here today? This is how it's always going to be now. What do you mean? You know that... I know she's at a difficult age and that her mother died. Why is that my problem? It's an affair of your youth. I don't see why I have to stay with her. Because you are my wife and I think you need to support me in this. You found a warm place. I have a suggestion. Your daughter used to live somewhere before this. Why don't you take her there to her apartment? Together. Because they used to rent a flat in the Moscow region. It wasn't their own place. Oh, so we're going to share this flat between the three of us? Wait, hold on. You want to split the apartment? Yes, I do. All right, let's do it. I'll deal with this. Don't you worry about it. You won't get less than half. Just hurry up. After all, I want to have my own baby and a safe place to live. Oh, God. Susha, do you mind if I interrupt you for a minute? We need to talk. Sonia and I are having big problems. Because of me? I'm asking you again, don't be rude to her. Or we'll have to separate and move out of here. And I don't want that, do you understand? I love her very much and she's very nervous now, easily ignited. We should try 
and be neutral. Find a way to compromise. Besides, in the autumn, you're going to school. I've found a wonderful school for you, by the way. A wonderful school. There's a swimming pool there, they offer foreign languages, and there's great teachers as well. If we can make peace, maybe she won't divorce me. Well, it's not my fault. She makes me sick with her hysteria. Susha, nothing is ever that easy at first. You find common ground, somehow. Moreover, you have something to lose now. You've got a real family. Is that all? Well, yes, basically. I'm going to bed. going we're going to meet your future form mistress she'll she'll help you adapt to the class I'm happy daddy why aren't we going yet hold on we're going in a minute Sonia let me take you wherever you're going I'll manage on my own thank you Wash your war paint off. She's uncontrollable. She's a very bad girl. She says something on purpose and waits for me to react. She's torturing me. And the atmosphere in the flat is just horrible. I didn't think things would be so bad. That's not all. Sit down. Sit down, sit down. Do you remember the girl who stole my wallet? Yeah, you bet I do. Well, that's her. Lesha's daughter. You're kidding. In short, it's all nonsense. That's terrible. What are you going to do about it? What's there to do? Move out. What else could I do? but you spent 10 years paying the loan for this apartment. It's a pity, but I pity myself more. <laughs> so, Susha has a nice flat, right? Yeah, all right. Let's have some beer, shall we? Right. <laughs> Let's go and buy some. Everyone get out. What happened? No, you get out. Get out of here, I said, right now. Oh. Let's go. Or this she-goat will call the cops. Uh, we better get out of here. Uh, <sighs> You thought you'd get away with this? Well, screw you. <sighs> I don't know what to do. They can't live together. Really, they're always arguing. I don't want to be at home. Did you think it'd be easy being a father? I didn't think anything. My head was spinning. How come, I thought, a poor girl in the orphanage? 
I want her to look decent. I don't know what to do. Well, actually, you don't have much choice now. You can't send her back. Gosha, Sarazek, get in the center. I guess you're right. I don't even know why I started all this. You see, there's this thing, Lesha. When a baby comes, a good father stops living his own life. The life of a child becomes the most important thing to him. You can't live like you used to. Restaurants, bars, and burning the midnight oil. The child tests your ego. Take my word for it, Lesha. Did you think that bringing the girl home was the end of your mission? No. You have to do something with her, spend time with her. Teach her something, you have to raise her. You brought her clothes and think that's it? No. You don't belong to yourself now. As soon as you understand that, your life will start getting better. There's nothing to get better now. Sonia's moving out and having a baby. I can understand her, actually. What about you? Well, I guess I'll stay and enjoy my paternity. All right, Father. Let's enjoy paternity. <laughs> Guys, let's play football. Gosha, Sereza, pass. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Uh, the area is 60 meters. Windows face both south and west. Um, 10 minutes walk to the subway. Great infrastructure. Banks, shops, and laundry. Look, there's a wonderful park nearby. Well, it's all great. But I'm afraid you won't be able to solve this issue quickly. I'm sorry, but getting two one-room flats for a two-room one is unreal. Uh, what other options do I have? The best option is two rooms in communal flats, in the suburbs, or even in the region, but that won't be quick. Who wants to move in together now? Everybody wants to move out. Did you think this would be easy? Oh my God. I didn't even notice how late it's gotten. Yeah, that's right. I just left home, and it's time to get back. And you don't want to? Frankly? No, I feel like I get more tired at home than I do at work. Perhaps you'll do a good thing then. Drive me home and waste some more time, maybe? Well, yeah. Wasting time next to you is pure pleasure. <laughs> Hold on. Who's going to clean that up? You. Me? Thanks for the ride. See you tomorrow. So you're not inviting me for coffee today? What's the point, Lesha? To just waste time? You'll manage it on your own, I'm sure.
Thank you, Katya. Thank you. You do not look well. You've lost weight, I guess. And your eyes are sunken. I'm tired. I've got a lot going on now. And there's no vacation. Oh, no. Work is like a holiday to me. I'm just messed up. Mr. Sergevich, I need to go somewhere to fix my brains. Isn't there a work trip somewhere? I mean, I'm desperate. I'd really go anywhere, even to the Arctic. Ugh. There's no Arctic trip, but there is Siberia. You need to go and check out our Siberian branches. I was planning to send you next month, but if you want to go now, well... Uh... Yes, yes, I want to go. You can go now. Katya. We're sending Chernovsky on a trip to our Siberian branch. Thank you. Sonia, let's discuss it calmly. Let's sit at the table. What can I do after all? I have to go on a work trip. They're sending me. How long is your trip planned for? Ten days. How many? Ten days. Yeah, and I'll have to live with uh, your daughter all that time. I won't nurse you, no. I'm not asking you to nurse, Susha. Right. You'll just spend some time without me here. You'll be okay. I think you forgot what we agreed upon. I haven't forgotten. Just please be human. I am not going to take responsibility for her. I was hoping you'd understand. I'm tired of wasting my nerves on her. <sighs> Susha, I'm begging you. Please don't torture Sonia. I'm not torturing her. I don't know. She comes to me and complains about you. I guess she has nothing else to do. Enough with this circus. I've told you already. Don't count on me. Sonia, what can I do? It's my job, you know that. I'll go on a trip for ten days, and then we'll split the apartment. After all, let's face it. I'm earning money for all of us, okay? Promise me you'll behave better. All right. If Sonia complains about you even once... All right, she won't. I hope so. But it's only for ten days. The northbound train is approaching the station. I repeat, the northbound train is approaching the station. Please stand back from the platform bed and have your tickets ready with you. Please keep your luggage ready Lasha. at all times. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what are you doing here? Ivan Sergeyevich told me to fly with you. He says we'll do it faster together. I hope that you're not against it. I'm not just for it. I'm happy. <laughs> Let's go then. Ten minutes to the train. So breakfast is ready. Susha. How is it? It's edible. But I like fried eggs and sausage for breakfast. All right, I'll make it tomorrow. Is there any cake left? Yeah, you're the only one who had some. Are you saying that I eat a lot? Uh, no. Don't look for a catch where there is none. The cake is in the fridge. Let's make a deal and don't quibble, all right? We have to live together for 10 more days. I wouldn't like to spend them in hell. If you want something, just ask. OK. I don't know what you like, but I can't leave you hungry. Let's do this. You tell me what you want to eat, and I cook it. What do you want for dinner today? I need to think. Wait. Oh, let's see. Hmm. Oh! Pancakes with trout and blue cheese. All right. Uh, also... French-style meat. All right. And what else is there? Oh, chocolate mousse. Is that the final choice? Yes, I want it all for dinner. All right, I'll make it all. But if you don't eat it, I won't let you order me anymore. 
We're going to have breakfast and then I'll go to the store. You'll clean the table and do the dishes. Deal? It's a deal. All right, we stir yolks with powdered sugar. Yes, and don't forget to add vanilla. Right, Anya, that is, we don't boil or bake anything. We eat chocolate mousse with raw eggs, is that right? Yes, basically, but I don't remember anybody getting poisoned. Anyway, your girl has quite a taste. I wonder what it will be tomorrow. A baked shark. <laughs> don't let her walk all over you. But it's only for 10 days. I hope to mellow her out. She won't last long, all right? Bye. Okay, bye. What's going on? Will dinner be ready today? Yes, I'm trying. What if I don't like what you'll cook? Well, that's not my problem. I'm cooking everything that you've ordered. I'm following the recipe. Hmm. Uh, what are we going to do after dinner? Maybe we could watch a movie. Sure, okay. Perhaps you'd like to help me watch the pancakes, for example? Mm -mm. Yes, come in. Oh, sorry. Um, are you ready to go to dinner? I'm ready. Phew, tastes like mold. It's blue cheese, like you ordered. Here's the French style meat. It's okay. But there's too little mayonnaise. My mom used to add more. Not the healthiest product, by the way. But I like it. And chips and bread, too. So what? Nothing. I hope you like the mousse. It's good. In short, the dinner is good. I don't know yet. I don't like your mold. And the meat is so-so. Why don't you eat the mold? Maybe you're trying to poison me with it. Go ahead, try some. Susha, I thought we agreed that we had an armistice. And now you're continuing your rudeness? I just said that I didn't like dinner. Then don't finish it. I made everything that you ordered. Stay hungry if you don't want it. I feel sick. Stop acting like an ape. I feel really bad, really. I've had enough of your antics.
What's this performance about? Susha, stop joking like this. Susha. Susha, what happened? I feel bad. Bad? What hurts? Where? I don't know. You poisoned me. Oh my god. Hello? Hello, ambulance? Come immediately, please. I don't know what to do now. I, I think this is because of the raw eggs. Oh god, why did I make that moose? Sonia, I've made the moose for my kids a hundred times. Don't get too nervous. It's something else. Oh, Anya, I'll call you back. Excuse me, a 14-year-old girl, Susha Danilenko, has been brought here. Did the doctor see her yet? Yes. No need to worry, everything will be just fine. Head of the department is on duty today. Here he is now. Sonia! You? What a surprise! I'm glad to see you. Are you a doctor? Yes. Well, as you can see, <laughs> I'm a surgeon here and I'm on duty today. And you're here uh, because... A 14-year-old girl, Susha Danilenko, was brought here. Did you see her yet? Yes, yes, Susha Danilenko. Uh, so this girl is your husband's daughter, right? Yes. Ah, well... Sonia, don't worry. She is already feeling much better. <sighs> we thought it was appendicitis, but it's not. <laughs> well, thank God for that. Yes, thank God. Sonia, I'd like to order some additional tests. All right. It doesn't seem to be poisoning either. What does it look like? It looks like possibly a pregnancy. This is all because of your dinner, of that mold. When Dad comes back, I'll tell him everything. You know, the doctor says that it's not poisoning. Yeah, right. Susha, tell me, um, have you ever had a relationship? A relationship with a boy? Why do you care? This is very important. Well, yes, I have. Oh, my goodness. Why are you so worried? Are you afraid that Dad will be mad at you? Know that he'll be mad at you. This is not mold, Susha. This is most likely that you're pregnant. Here you go. The results? Oh, thank you. Danilenko Susha. Pregnancy term 11 weeks. What do we do now? I don't know. Just don't tell Dad. Don't tell Dad? What do you mean? He's going to kill us. Us? I don't want a baby. It's painful. I won't give birth, you hear me? This feels like I'm on a vacation. I haven't felt this good in years. Me neither, because you're fantastic in bed. Excuse me. What should I do now? Yes. Hello. Hello. What's with your voice? Did something happen? We've got problems, Lesha. What problem? Your daughter is pregnant. The term is about three months. She's what? I don't know what to do, but the decision has to be made quickly before it's too late to change anything. All right, listen, I'll be back in three days. Don't make any decisions. Is that clear? And of course, yes. All right, bye. What happened? Nothing. Family joys. 
Let me kiss you again. It'll be fine. Not now. Should I leave? Stay if you want to. But I need to get some sleep. Tomorrow will be difficult. Well, then I can sleep in my own room. I'll go now. I don't see another way. We need an abortion as soon as possible. I agree with him. Hold on, Lesha. First of all, we need to understand the possible consequences. Sonia, my daughter is not going to be a mother at 14. Do you think this is the worst that can happen? We're not going to discuss it. There are no options. You told me the same thing once. Let's not start with that, please. Do you know what the future will bring for her? I'll tell you what's coming for her. School and university, and then family and kids if she wants to. Do you realize that she might not have children after that? Why wouldn't she have children? Well, just look at me. I don't see a connection. She's having an abortion and there's no point delaying it. I can do it tomorrow. I don't understand you. She's a little silly girl. By making such decisions, you can ruin her entire life. Sonia, don't intrude. She's my daughter and I'm going to decide what she will do. Okay? Good job, mother. You've raised your daughter well. Pregnancy at 14 years. We didn't come for a lecture. We want to know what to expect. What's to expect? Certainly nothing good. She's RH negative. It's her first pregnancy. Infertility afterwards is guaranteed. How? Just like that. Some people are lucky. They reproduce like cats even after abortions. And somebody else spends the rest of their lives asking God for a child. But why am I telling you? You won't understand anyway. It's your decision, but I would save the baby. I understand that giving birth at such a young age is very difficult, but it's better in my opinion than being childless forever. I believe you. If you still want to get an abortion, you can't delay. She's 11 weeks. You'll have to write a note, confirming that you're aware of the consequences. It's your responsibility. We'll write it. Did you hear what the doctor said? Yes, I heard her. We're not going to sign anything. You have a father, let him decide. I don't understand. How could you? She'll never forgive you. Well, but you forgave me. Are you sure? There are many ways to have children. Really? How come we don't have children yet? Sonia, this is how things turned out. We'll have children, but not now. Let's deal with this first. You've already decided. Yes, I have. And it will be better, better for her. She's still a child. Her head is filled with stupid things. Sometimes I want to kill you. Very good. That means that you still love me. I couldn't do it. I changed my mind. I saw those big pliers. Can I not do it, please? I'm very afraid. Oh, thank God. <laughs> You're both crazy now. A toddler is just what we need now. You're a clever girl. We'll raise this baby together. 
Susha, you need to give birth. My, my little girl will raise the baby. We didn't expect it to turn out like this at all. Mm -hmm. But because of my job, all our family has to move away for six months. Or even more. Mm -hmm, I understand. We'll prepare your documents mm -hmm. immediately. Okay. You should have them by some time next Thank week. You. Where are you moving, if I might ask? Uh... To Australia. Maybe for forever, perhaps. Goodbye. Thank you. All the best. Mm -hmm. All the best. little girl why are we crying so loud shh, 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 shh. don't worry it'll be all right does anything hurt oh my little girl shh, 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 shh. Well, I wonder how long this bedlam will last with the baby huh? this is your granddaughter you know I didn't want her and neither did Susha and who has grandchildren at the age of 37 however she's been born and you have to get used to that I'll never get used to it and Susha doesn't care. Oh, and where is she? What did you think? That a teenager was going to nurse a baby? I warned you that nothing good would come of this. And now, we're paying. What would have changed? We were planning our own child. It would have cried like this. And there would have been as many problems as with Masha. I wonder what will come out of this Masha anyway. Another Susha? Stop it, will you? Hold this. Like that, good. All right now, we're quiet. You're going to feed her now. Me? Yes, you. I'm going shopping. To get more formula. Shush, 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 my little girl. Why are you crying? Mm. Here you go, here you go. Oh, no, no, good, 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 good. Mm. I'm so sick of oh, all be this. quiet. Why should I? She's screaming like torture oh. anyway. Can't you hear that your baby is screaming? Why does the whole house have to be alarmed? What can I do? She screams anyway. This screaming will make me kill myself. I'll kill myself soon, too. Oh. Oh, hush, my little girl. Don't cry, my dear. You'll be okay soon. Lesha, can you wash the dishes? I'm exhausted. Have I been resting all this time? I don't ask you often for anything. Actually, I wanted to rest at home. Yep, keep dreaming. No rest for the wicked. Well, it's not my fault. <laughs> Whose fault is it? Everything that's happened to us? 
is totally your fault. Moreover, it was your idea. So I'm the one who had a pregnant daughter? <laughs> you're, you're very good at pointing fingers. And now you're going to tell me that I've ruined your life, huh? Don't shout at her. Are you talking to me? Yes, I sure am. I'm sick of your behavior. I am your father, Susha. She's nobody to you. She actually cares about us. And you only whine. I took you from the orphanage. I brought you here. Now, think where you'd be without me, please. It's better in the orphanage than with you. You don't love anyone. <sighs> it's called doing good things to people. Thank you, daughter. He's gone, but that's all right. We'll live without him. You're not going to leave us. Can't you see that it's my turn? Are you sure? Of course I am. All right, sorry, I'm carrying milk for an infant. Just let me go first. Hello. Yes, hi, Olya. Hi. Tell me, please, are you... My wine? All right, which one? <laughs> You're jumpy. And nervous, too. What's up? I don't know what's going on with you. Can you tell me about it? Family problems, don't worry about it. Wife's picking at you? Yeah, something like that. I don't understand those wives. What else do you need? Mm-hmm. I mean, you've got a golden man. You should hold on to him. Please him. They're always unhappy with something. It's so hard for you sometimes. Mm hmm For men, I mean. Wouldn't you agree with me? Why don't you move to my place? Why do you have to run across the entire city? Moreover, you're the one who says that there's no life at home. And I'd love to please you here. Sonia, you could have called. I could have bought everything. What unexpected decency. Don't be sarcastic, please. You've decided to help us? Wonderful. But we need help with everything. I don't care where you spend your nights, but I'm tired of doing everything. Well, you wanted a child. Why are you complaining? Don't you want it? Were you lying to me? Do you want the truth? I was ready for a child, but only because you wanted it. I don't like children. I don't want them. Children are a burden to me. Do you understand? And you're a burden to us. Get out of our lives. Sonia. Sonia.
<laughs> oh, look, is it Lesha? Lesha! Oh, damn. Do you know them? Yes, they're my friends. We didn't notice you. Uh huh. Of course. Meet my colleague, Olya. These are Pasha and Anya. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Colleague? Is it a corporate party? Anya. By the way, how's Sonia? Why isn't she with you? Or rather, why are you with someone else? Anya. Can I not ask how my friend is? Moreover, I would like to see the kids. How are they doing, Lesha? How has your little girl grown up? Uh, I guess Sonia didn't tell you. I don't live at home. That's nice. You left your wife with a whole lot of children and ran away. I wonder whether your colleague knows that you're already a grandfather. Anya, it's enough. All right, let's go already. Let's go, let's go. Lesha. Here we are. Come in. Thank, Thank you. you. Some wine, perhaps? Oh, he's such a bastard. No, I'll call Sonia. I'll tell her everything. Don't call anyone, Anya. I think Sonia knows about it. And Lesha's just lost. It all happened much too quickly for him. He's just relieving his stress. He'll have fun and then come back. He won't run away. How can you talk so calmly about it? He's a traitor. Sonia was right. He's been betraying her her entire life. I think it's great. What is? Being a grandfather at such a young age. Really? What did you name her? Masha. Masha. It's a beautiful name. Excuse me. I'll be back in a second. I need a powder in my nose. Mm -hmm. Let's go and tell him a couple of nice How will words. it help you? Hold on. Do you think it's normal? No, Anya, I don't think it's normal. Believe me, I realize everything. Why the hell are you doing this? Well, we won't understand each other. You were planning a big family from day one, right? You had those goals. I didn't have them. I lived comfortably for 16 years, and then everything changed in a single moment. First Susha, then the baby. This is a nut house. They're your blood. So what? What if I don't feel it? Lesha, what happened to you? You don't look like yourself at all. This is because my life has become unbearable. The child cries. Susha doesn't care. Sonia is nervous and mean. This is because you don't help her. I just can't look at her. She let herself go. She's running around with that baby. Lesha, you're not right here. She's your granddaughter. All right. Guys, listen, you can think I'm a coward, but this is my grounded decision. Let's go. All right. Goodbye. Perhaps such an age crisis? Although I think it's too early. What crisis? This man is just used to living for himself. And now he has to bear some responsibility, and he broke down. You're truly a heroic woman. You took care of someone else's kids. Oh, I'm shocked, this? too. At least we have Masha now. She's so pretty. She looks like you, by the way. Come on. I want to have my own child. They're strangers to me. Hello. Hello. I came to take my things. So, you're running away. I've heard about your life, girls, restaurants, and I have to nurse your daughter and granddaughter. I knew that you would start this same old song again. Wash your hands and take on the mask. Masha's a little ill and take off your shoes. This is 
is an act of a real man. What do you want from me? I'll be giving you money. The flight is all yours. Live here and have fun. But without me... I want a quiet life, do you understand? A comfortable life. Where someone will take care of me. Really? Yes. Believe me, such women exist. Hmm? It's all right, Masha. We'll manage. The most important thing is that I have you. How do you stop breastfeeding her long ago? I didn't breastfeed her. No, not me. I mean, it's a very long story. Anyway, the baby's been fed on formula since we birth. We need to choose a proper formula. The one you gave her doesn't work. It gives her colicky pain. And her teeth are probably coming through too. Visit the local doctor on Monday. He'll prescribe you the formula. All right, but I need to calm her down somehow. She screams all the time. Can you hospitalize her? You mean with colicky pain? Well, I have to calm her down somehow. Well then, I'm afraid the pharmacies are already closed. The nearest open one is far away. I'll leave the drugs for you and write how to take them. On Monday, visit your local doctor at the Poly Clinic, okay? Mm -hmm. Thank you, doctor. Take it every four hours. You can skip it if she won't cry. Here. And monitor her temperature. All right. Thank you once again, doctor. What have you done? It was an accident. I was hungry. You only think about yourself. You're an egoist, just like your father. What are we going to do now? Oh, come on. She's sleeping. She's sleeping. I'm going to the pharmacy. I don't know when I'll be back. Don't take your eyes off her. Is that clear? Call me if something happens. decided to finish me? <laughs> no, it can't be. I think this is some kind of a tradition now. I'm very glad to see you too, Kostya. <sighs> well, where have you been hurrying to this time? To the pharmacy, urgently. My child is ill. To the pharmacy, I see. Well? This pharmacy doesn't have it either. Well, that's what I thought. I've just started searching for the nearest one. Thank you for taking care of me once again, Kostya. Well, you've picked up a habit of jumping under my car's wheels. I'm joking, Sonia. We'll find the nearest pharmacy and buy everything, okay? I'm tired. I don't know what to do. It's like I'm living someone else's life, and my husband has left us for his mistress. I don't sleep, and I walk like a zombie. But I think you still look wonderful. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Who gave birth? Susha. And the baby? Masha. Masha. That's great. This is the nearest one, round the clock on Krasnaya Presnia. That's where we're going.
Sonia, give me that paper. I'll go and talk to my colleagues. Thank you. Have some rest now. Well, I'm not a pediatrician, but you've got a wonderful, healthy baby, as far as I can see. Well, you have to tolerate it until after all her teeth have come through. The rest is fine. Thank God she's all right. We'll manage the toothache somehow. All right. Well, ladies, I have to go. Would you like some tea? No, I need to be on duty tomorrow. Anyway, thanks a lot. Thank you for coming. Grow up well. Oh, Sonia, right. Here is my business card. If you need anything, call me, even if it's the middle of the night, really. All right, bye. I'll, I'll walk you. Oh, whoa, whoa. Thank you, Kostya. It's like God keeps sending you to me. Not at all. I guess I owe you. Tell me how much. Are you out of your mind? The important thing is that the baby is healthy. It just feels uncomfortable. Perhaps I can do something for you? Sonia, let's meet sometime when you have some free time. Please don't ask me that, Kostya. I got it. It was a stupid idea. Let's forget it. I, I don't date married men. I'm sorry. No, I was married. I'm divorced now. I'm just hoping that I'll be able to make you like me. I do like you. I just think that you perceive of me as a hysterical woman with a huge number of problems who jumps under the wheels. <laughs> I see, but if we meet, I'll have a chance to learn another side of you. I'll call you tomorrow, all right? All right. Thank you once again. Not at all. All right. Goodbye. Goodbye. I'm so tired. I've put Masha to sleep. Go to bed. It's morning already. Why go to bed? Sleep if you want. I don't. Sonia, I'm sorry for breaking the bottle with medicine. It wasn't on purpose. I'm not an egoist like my father. I just pity myself very much sometimes. You're going to leave us when you get divorced. I'm not leaving you. Don't make things up. Nothing bad will happen now. Therefore, stop pitying yourself. Why don't we make breakfast? We're not sleeping anyway. Can I ask you something? Sure. Don't you want to take Masha and me? Uh, adopt us, I mean. I understand that you're not my mother, of course. But you could have become Masha's mother. Although you don't need it. You want to have your own child. Well, I'll see what I can do to adopt you. I understand your situation. 
Maternity at the age of 14 is not easy. Of course, you can adopt the baby, but you'll have to gather a huge number of documents. And the consent from your husband is obligatory. Well, there'll be no problems with that. Gather the documents, then. We'll review them. Susha! Hello. 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 Hi. I'm Sofia Igorevna, the wife of Susha's dad. And this is Masha, Susha's sister. She's so pretty. She's so pretty. Look at her. So cute. Wow. Do you want to come in? I've made an apple pie. No, thanks so much. We better take Susha to the cinema in the evening. Can we? Yes, sure. How's preparation for the exams going? Don't worry, Miss Igorevna. We've got everything under control. Mm. All right, we'll call you then. See ya. Yeah. Bye. See you later. Bye. 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 Thank you for not exposing me. You're welcome. I've bought something for you. You can throw it away if you don't like it. Here it is. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> My Susha. <laughs> Miranov Konstantin Andreevich, Doctor of the Highest Order. <coughs> the subscriber you're calling is currently not available. Please try back again later. I'm busy now. I'm buried in work. I'll call you back later, okay? Mm-hmm. What does she want from you this time? I promised to do something and forgot. That's fine. She can wait. You don't have to rush to her the moment she calls. Boys, look what Auntie Sonia brought you. Hooray! All right. Here you go. Thank you, Aunt Sonia! Take the whole bowl. <laughs> All right, what is it? He never called back. Although he clearly wanted to meet. It's strange. Don't you want to call him? I called him. He's unavailable. And I thought that something could come out of it. Perhaps he's busy or lost your phone. Anya, do you even believe that? If a man wants to get through, he'll get through. <laughs> and you're in love, as I can see. I don't know. Come on, but you are. All right, don't worry, your hero will be found. How is it going with adoption? I can't seem to catch Lesha. He says he's very busy. And it's not moving without him. Oh. Hello. 
Hello, Sonia. Hello. This is unexpected. Why are you here? Well, I, I've missed you. Oh, that's lovely. I can't understand. Are you mad at me? No, why? You helped us, and I'm grateful to you. You don't evoke other emotions in me. You're mad that I didn't call you, right? Sonia. Sonia, hold on, please. You see, I got into an accident that night. Here it is. My car crashed, and my phone did too, and I had your number there. At least I had the address. I came to you right after the hospital. I was sitting here, waiting to see you. I'm sorry. But that's really terrible. How do you feel no, now? No, don't worry. It's all right. It's all right. Susha, how are you doing? How's the baby? Not bad. We've already got three teeth. Wow. Go and have tea. I'll walk Masha on my own. Susha. Girls, how about I invite you to a cafe? Let's do it. Is it all right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> all right, let's go. I thought that you had changed your mind and decided not to call Why would me. I change my mind? Well, I don't know. And it's so terrible. How, how did it well, happen? Well, some moron jumped against the traffic lights. Congratulations, Mr. Chernovsky. I'm glad that you've decided to adopt your own daughter. Guardianship is good, of course. But it's morally easier for a child to understand that a dad is a dad, not a guardian. Thank you, Ms. Igorevna, for supporting your husband in his decision to adopt the two girls. Well, frankly speaking, it was my wife's idea. I just went along with it. Well, sounds good. Sonia, let me give you a ride to the subway no. station. Thank you. I can manage. Mm-hmm. You need anything else from me? No, you don't need to do anything. You can be free. After a time, mm -hmm. we'll apply for a divorce. I'll keep the girls. I hope you're not going to try to take them. No, I'm not. We don't need money, either. I earn quite a lot by translating. Allowance will be paid for the All right, the kids, but if you so. need anything, just ask. Let me at least give you a ride. Thanks. I have a ride already. Really? All right, bye, then. Did everything work out? Yes, everything's fine. Let's go now. Well, thank God. Ah! <laughs> What time is it, Basha? <laughs> Go over and help them. <laughs> Nika. Nika, Nika bring the shot cock. <laughs> Take it from Take him. Take it from him. Come here, Come here Nika. Come here. Come here. Come on, my girl. Come on, my girl. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're the best. <laughs> Who's the big Are you ready to go? Come here, my okay, girl. Good. Go, 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 go. Come here, baby. Like this, my Basha. Yeah, like this. Nika, come here. Nika, he come here. You're a good girl. Give it to me, Go Nika. Home. Here she is. Come on. <laughs> Nika, come here. Come on, Nika. Give it to me. Good girl. Good girl. Good. 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 It's beautiful here. The house is very cozy. Do you like it? <laughs> well, I'm glad to hear that. This is my family nest, so to speak. But there's no one to live here. How come? Well, Susha, a nest suggests a big family. My wife and I never had kids. The flat's enough for me. This place is actually empty most of the time. You need to have a family, then. Well, that's a great idea. Perhaps I'll get lucky. Susha, it's time for bed, I think. What are we going to do tomorrow? All right, tomorrow, we're going to have a barbecue. Oh. 
That's cool. Oh, that's cool? <laughs> Thank God. Is it Masha asleep? Yes, she's asleep. Everything's fine. Look what I found. Susha, it's not yours. Oh, come on. Look at these. What does it mean? That he went to war? It means that Kostya used to save lives. In flashpoint areas. You know what? You should marry him. What are you even saying? Can't you see how he looks at you? He's just a kind and good person. He's fallen for you hard. Why would he need us? He needs a family and his own kids. So then, you'd marry him if it weren't for me and Masha? Why are you looking for tricks where there are none? That's not what I mean. I have a husband, by the way, your father. He's a rubbish father and husband. But Kostya... Kostya is a good man. I hope he can create his own family. Will you sit with Masha? I'll make a salad. Mm-hmm. I heard that barbecue can be marinated in beer. It could be beer or kefir. The most important thing is good meat and good drinks with it. Do you like drinking? I adore drinking. Nothing except tomato juice. You don't drink, don't go for strolls, don't hit women, and you don't swear. Is that right? Where have you learned such nasty things? Life experience. Ah. So what's wrong with you? I don't follow you. Why did your wife leave you? Why did you leave me? We stopped understanding each other, and I wanted children, and she didn't. You know, Sonia does want children. I know that. Then marry already. <sighs> Susha, it's not that simple. I see. It's all because of us, right? If it weren't for Masha and I, you would have married her. I'd marry Sonia in any scenario. It's not you and Masha. She just may not want to... to get married. But she does want it. Look at her. Look at how she looks at you. Propose to her. Don't be afraid. Just don't tell her that it was me. What would she do? Uh, deprive me of sweets. Do you know how tasty her pies and cakes are? You'd love them all. Really? Mm-hmm. Look, this last argument of yours finally persuaded me. What are you whispering about over there, partisans? I'm proposing you as a wife. I'm telling Kostya how cool you are. Kostya, don't listen to her, please. Her jokes are very awkward sometimes. Well, she may be joking, but I'm not joking. Sonia, will you marry me? Susha has... has already accepted. don't understand it. No one has picked up the phone in two days. Mobile phones are unavailable. Look, perhaps your wife has some things to do. Or she may be on a stroll or something. What stroll, huh? She has two kids. I know women. You just need to give them a reason to forget. And they soon will. Moreover, you were the one who said that she found someone. What are you even saying? Who did she find? You know nothing. Okay. I'm going there. I'm not in the mood for this. But what about me? We were going to the club. So go without me then. Actually, do everything without me. You're a big girl now. I thought you loved me. I thought you would propose. Are you still slobbering over Sonia? Let's not say stupid things. I'm worried about my children. You weren't worried before. Huh. You know what? This is my life. Just mind your own business.
Thank you. Kostya, will you have dinner with us? That's not necessary. You must be tired. Why? Quite the opposite. We're well rested. Oh, you're so funny. Why don't you be less formal? That's a great idea. All right, I'll put Masha to sleep. After your proposal, you're bound to have dinner with us. Well, in this case, consider me persuaded. I'm going to burst into tears of tenderness. This is how my wife, mother of two, is spending her time now. What happened to you, Lesha? Has your mistress kicked you out already? How could you, Sonia? How could you just turn off your phone and disappear? I thought something had happened to the kids. The kids are all right. You can go back to your girlfriend, Lesha. I thought you were a saint, but you... It hasn't been a month, and you found a man. And here is the breadwinning father. The man who was in a rush with the milk to Olia. Hush! Hush! Hush, 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 hush. I'm all right. I'm all right. Let's go, Kostya. Let's just go. Please, let's just go. We've exchanged a couple of nice words. Let's go. Are you okay? Kostya, you're bleeding. Yeah, it's nothing. I'll take the children from you and split the apartment. Let's go. Let's go, Kostya. <laughs> Does it hurt much? Mm-hmm. Sonia. Sonia, it's all nothing. But you haven't answered me yet. I just don't know what to do next. I need you very much, Sonia. Very much. Tell me if you need me too. Is that a yes? Sleeping? All right, let her sleep. Sonia's coming. What are you going to do if the doctor says there are three kids or more? What would we do, Susha? Give birth, raise them, and love them. And me and Masha? We'll be raising you with double effort. You're our first kids. Well, what happened? Well... Well, tell us already. It's a boy and a girl, they think. <laughs> uh -huh. This is without IVF? Right. Are you happy, Sonia? Yes. Ooh, even the doctors can't believe it. It's a miracle. Well, you didn't believe me, Sonia. I told you we had twins in our family. I guess happiness comes when you least expect it. <laughs>